I'm Artifacts, and we're at my local art supply store with just $20 to buy good drawing supplies. So let's go. Now, in my latest poll, you guys said $20 is all you have to spend on art supplies, and this stuff isn't cheap. But believe it or not, it is possible. We'll just need to shop smart. All right, at the top of our list is a good sketchbook. I tend to use Canson sketchbooks, but these would quickly eat up our $20 budget at $10 to $18 a piece. Instead, let's head over here to the end of the aisle where they have more budget-friendly options like these Artist's Loft drawing pads. This sketchbook is just $5.99, but it still checks all of the boxes. It has lots of paper at 60 sheets. The paper is heavyweight and acid-free, which means our artwork will last longer. It's got spiral binding, which allows us to easily flip through the pages. And the paper size is a generous 9 by 12 inches. Second on our list is a set of graded graphite pencils. These can really blow up a budget, especially the bigger sets, so let's look for sets with fewer pencils to bring down the cost. Since we're limiting the number of pencils, we need to make sure the set we buy has more darker pencils than lighter ones because those will help us achieve greater depth and value in our drawings. Here we have a pack of four pencils for just $4.99, ranging from HB all the way to 6B, which is very dark. As a big bonus, this set comes with a gum eraser, which is another essential drawing supply on our list because it's softer and the crumbs brush away easily. While our pencil set comes with a sharpener, I highly recommend investing in one with an enclosure like this sharpener with canister. This makes it easier to grip while sharpening pencils and keeps our workspace tidy by capturing the pencil shavings. This $3.99 option is also half the cost of some of the others and should work just as well. Now, my favorite drawing supply is a white gel pen for highlights, but gel pens can get expensive when they come in bigger sets, similar to graphite pencils. The good news is, one pen should last you a long time, so look to buy a single unit. This retractable Zebra gel pen costs just $1.99. Next up is a brush to gently sweep away things like graphite particles and eraser crumbs, but artist brushes are overkill and very expensive, so stay away from these fancy ones. Instead, just grab a cheap 99 cent option. Also, the wider the brush head, the better for our purpose. Finally, we'll want a container for all of our loose supplies, but drawing tool pouches here cost $6 or more. So I recommend shopping around and looking through the other aisles in this store for cheaper alternatives. If we go all the way to the front of the store, we'll see they have some cool stackable pencil boxes on sale. And they're cheap enough for me to grab a couple. Okay, time for me to check out and get these supplies home so we can test them. Not a bad haul, right? So how do we do with our budget? Well, our supplies came out to $23.74 after taxes, compared to $50 to $90 for the higher priced supplies. But that's not good enough, because we only had $20 to spend. So I found a store coupon online for 20% off the entire purchase, which brought our final total down to just $18.99. Now, really quickly before we compare our supplies, I'm gonna show you how to easily create blending stumps using a sheet of paper from the sketchbook we just bought. Just cut or tear some small strips like so, and tightly roll the paper at a slight angle so we create a point on one side. We can then tuck in the back end of the stump or tape it to secure it in place. Paper stumps like these can cost a few dollars at the store, but now we have our very own and it didn't cost us anything extra. All right, let's compare our affordable supplies to the more expensive alternatives. You can see these are good drawing supplies and definitely get the job done. Now the white gel pen we got works well on colored papers, but it struggled a little bit on top of our graphite drawing here, so I do still recommend picking up a Uniball Signo white gel pen for highlights. Thankfully we still had a buck left over after shopping, so that shouldn't be a problem. Well I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, give it a like and comment to let me know. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.